If you are looking for a dark hair dry shampoo, then girl, look no further because today I am talking about the Redken Pillow Proof Dry Shampoo and I'm doing a little review and a little demo just for you. If you wanna know a little bit more about this awesome product, then go ahead and keep watching. It's coming your way right now. Well, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you've been here for a bit, if you are new, I am super glad that you're here today. My name is Lauren and my channel is all about making beauty easy for the girl who thinks that she can't. My hope today is that you will consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so that you can get alerts every single time I upload new videos, which is every single Friday, every third Thursday, and every fourth Tuesday of the month. Well, today I'm really excited to talk to you guys about a dry shampoo, a dry, sh a dry shampoo, a dry shampoo product Product that I have been loving lately and it is the Redken pillow proof dry shampoo it's a two-day extender and I want to tell you some reasons why I love it so if you're excited about that then go ahead and give this video a giant thumbs up and let's go ahead and get right into it so basically I was in the market for a new dry shampoo I have been using Batiste for years and I've actually normally used the divine dark one I tried this one um, I, they didn't have the Divine Dark the last time I bought it and I had to get this one and then I got the Divine Dark again and then ran out of that one. That's a long story. But anyway, I was trying these and I'm just like, man, they just are not working for me anymore. And I've been a huge advocate for Batiste for years. It's a great drugstore product. Um, but I was like, you know, I'm paying, I think they're like six to eight dollars depending on where you shop from, whether you're at Walmart, Target, Ulta. You can pretty much buy them for that price point. Same thing with Amazon. And I thought, okay, I've got to see what else is out there because this is just is not working. And I'm gonna show you a demo here in a second of what these two look like. So I started looking at going back to Glow Essentials, which is what I used to buy from um, Amazon as well. It's like a, a very nice high-end dry shampoo. It's usually like 35 bucks in the salon. <clears throat> but I couldn't find it anymore and they had it on Amazon and then I saw a review for Redkin's Pillow Proof and I was like, oh my gosh, this looks really great. Well, this one I think I paid like $11, maybe it was $11.80, something like that. I bought it off of Amazon. Holy crap, I am in love with it. So I wanna show you guys a couple reasons why and I already have it in my hair today but I'm gonna do another a little demo for you so you can kind of see what it looks like. As you can know, my hair is really dark um, so let me show you this first. So the Batiste, when I spray it, let's just do, let's just do this. This is kind of the consistency of what it looks like. Now the Divine Dark is darker than this, but can you see how like, it's just not very shiny or vibrant. It's almost very dull. The Divine Dark is a little darker than this, but it's also really dull too. And I'm like, okay, oh, that is, that is dropping everywhere, all over my desk. So I was like, I, I need something that is actually gonna look like in my hair, not look dull. Like that that looks gray in my hair. So here's what we did with the, the Redken. Can you see the difference in that? Holy smokes, like it is amazing how dark that color is. It also smells amazing. So as soon as I sprayed this on my hair, I was like uber impressed with the fact that the color looks that different. Now again, the Divine Dark, I, can, I went to go get this so I could show you and I'm like, ah oh, crap, I'm out of it. But that's a big contrast, but the Divine Dark is probably a shade or two darker, but it is still that dull. So let me wipe my hand off. Okay, so the reason why I love this is because it actually, well, as you can see, the, the first one from Batiste just wiped off. This has not, it's actually on my hand and that's the cool part. Like there's not much that comes off. So anyway, it rubs in really well and it is the color of your hair. Like that's probably the best thing I can tell you is that if you have darker color hair, if you're a brunette or you have dark hair at all, holy crap, this is gonna really change some things for you. So I'm gonna put this mirror right here so I can see. Hopefully it's not too much in your view. Um, my hair is clean today. And as you can see, I've actually got a pretty good amount of volume. There is a lot of grab in my hair and it does feel a little bit girty. Since I cut my hair off, I can only get about, gosh, about two to three days, three is, it, three is really pushing it for a, um, when I wash it and need to rewash it. This it does give me a nice extend because otherwise I would be too oily, but after the two to three days, it's just gross and it's time to wash it. Where before, when I had longer hair, I would just messy bun it for three or four days and only wash my hair once a week. Since I cut my hair off, I can't do that. So what I do now, when I get out of the shower, I've always done this, um, I blow dry my hair, I almost knocked something off my desk, per usual, talking with my hands. 
I blow dry my hair with all of my products and at the end of my blow dry, I now section my hair off and spray the dry shampoo in my hair. And what this does is gives it some grab and gives it a little bit of grit for my style to hold, for me to tease it a little bit and get a little volume out of it. So that's what I am doing. So I'm just gonna show you kind of how it looks. Even though I already have some in here, let me just, let's do this. Let's pull it up, pop the cap off. And what I do is just spray it in there just like that. Now girl, if you ain't careful, you will get it all over your face. So that's the only thing about this, like it, it can kind of like, you know, it'll darken it up <laughs> a little bit on the side, but that's okay. So then it just gives it some grit and some grab and it just gives me a lot of volume. So after I wash my hair, I just like literally section it off. So one section over spray, section spray, and I do that all over my head just from here all the way through. And then I flip over what's in the crown and do the same thing there. And you guys, I get so much lift from this because it makes my hair a little bit gritty and I love it. And obviously the color is amazing. I had my hair colored four weeks ago, wait, three weeks ago. And it's still, it's looking amazing. And so the other trick of course that I've shown you guys in my short hair hack tips for girls or something like that, I'll link it here, is the dry shampoo spray where you can, if you get foundation in your hair, you can spray this. Well, I used Batiste in that video and now I'm using this stuff when my uh, foundation gets on my hair and it is a lot better. So I hope this helps you out if you've been stuck with the whole like, I need a better dry shampoo. I think they have, um, the other version that isn't dark is clear, so I do not know if that one is white. And look, my fingers are a little bit brown. Are they? Oh, no, they're not. Okay, I thought they were. Maybe they are a little bit. It looks like they are on the viewfinder. Um, so if, you, if you're looking for something that isn't necessarily dark, they, ha they have another version that is clear. I just don't know if it turns your hair white or not since I'm using this one. So you would have to test that one out on your own. If any of you guys have tested that one out and you know the answer to that question, if you wanna drop it in the comments for other people to read, that would be super. So the only thing that I wanna say about this dry shampoo, if you're not keen on having a little bit of dirt, <laughs> as I call it, on your hands with this dry shampoo, like right now, if I were to scratch my head like this, you're gonna see a little bit of residue on my fingers. So that's something to keep in mind. If you don't love that, you may not love this dry shampoo, but it doesn't bother me because typically when I style my hair, I don't touch it. I just let it do what it does. And if I have a little bit of, if I had scratched my head and see that I've got a little bit of dry, dry shampoo on it, I just wipe it off and move on about my day. So I did wanna at least mention that to you. It dries super well, but you will get a little bit of residue on your fingers at times if you scratch your head or anything like that. So I just wanted to make sure that you did know that. All right, so my question down in the comments for you is what is your favorite dry shampoo to use? And if you are in the market now and are looking for a new dry shampoo, are you going to try Redken? I, of course, will link this product from Amazon so you can go read all the reviews. And if you want to buy it there, you can. I'll link that down for you below in the description box. And I think that's going to be a wrap for today's video. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope that this has helped you out so very much. And if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel, I'm going to ask that you do that now so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And of course, connect with me on social media. It is my favorite thing in all the world to connect with you on social. I have a private Facebook group called Reform Tomboy Beauty that I absolutely love. And this is a place for girls just like you and me where we get together, we share makeup tips and tricks. We do Masking Mondays, which is our accountability program for those of us who suck at masking. I have a monthly show called Contour and Converse where we get together and create a makeup look in real time. And this is a great place to hang out and chill and get to know each other. If this interests you and you wanna join us, then go ahead and click the link down in the description box or you can search Facebook Reform Tomboy Beauty and you will find us. That's gonna be a wrap. So until next time, I will see you in my next video. Hashtag Reform Tomboy Family. I'll see you soon.